How's it going, everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing our expression series by talking about useful expressions in the different tabs at the bottom of your expression assistant. Now, we're not going to be going over a detailed um, explanation of each expression, but if there are any expressions that you would like a detailed video on, let us know in the comments below, and we'll get to it as soon as possible. We do have a few planned already, uh, and we'll be releasing them as soon as possible. Now today, we're going to be starting with the other tab. This is the end of the list, but I find there's a lot of really useful expressions in here that people don't realize exist or uh, don't know where to find. The first I'll be talking about is the unique ID. This expression is incredibly useful because it helps you never have to worry about duplicate um, key values ever again. You just put this expression into your uh, initial value section of your key row, and it will come up with a unique ID for every row in your table. It is fantastic. Um, and it's right here. Next, I'll be talking about the kind of user section. This section is where you can get a lot of user information that's really useful across the app. If you need to know what the current user's email is, current user's name, current user's location, role, it's all right here. Uh, I find the user email particularly useful because I'm usually using the email as a key value for my user table, which means I can use this to reference my user table in other places. If I ever want to know which user changed a uh, made a change to a row or which user created a row, this is exactly where I'm going to use it. On the flip side, if I need to get information um, from the user table, I can use this in a select expression to get other information as well. This is a very useful section, and if you're wondering where it is, it's in the other tab. The last section I'll talk about in this video are these three right here. These are what these are called uh, conditional statements in traditional programming. Uh, this is your if, if else, and switch. Um, in AppSheet, the if else is called ifs, which allows you to put multiple if statements in a row, which is very similar to the switch statement. But ultimately, what this is going to do is return uh, different values based on certain parameters. A very common use case for this is if you want, say, the entire name of the month, uh, you might use the switch statement to go through each number, saying that if the current month is 1, return January. If it's 2, return February. Now, we'll be going over these more in depth in another video, but uh, those are right here if you're looking for them, and there's great documentation on these. Uh, like I said, we'll be going over each of these tabs in different videos. Uh, those are the ones I use most commonly from this other tab. But if there's a um, an expression in this tab that you'd like to know more about, let us know in the comments. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you in another video. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.